All right, what's up, mouth pagers? We'll begin in just a moment. Let me get adjusted here. Do do do. I don't know. Are we not live? What's going on? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why Facebook's not working. All right, give me a second. Let's check the sound. No, no, no. Testing, test, testing, test, testing, test. testing. All right, sound check's looking good. Used. All right, well, we'll just have to do it without Facebook tonight. Frustrating. I'm a little discombobulated here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. was working just fine a second ago. Hello? Hmm. It's always something with this computer. It's so frustrating. I always see all these like little hacker thingies go on. Yes, I'm calling you out because it's starting to become frustrating. Yes, you got over 33,000 people watching how you're messing my stuff up. Calling you out. Hmm. Very, very, very weird. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, everyone. Happy Monday, Yom Shani, Yom Shani. So, I hope everyone has had a great day and a great weekend. It's crazy. It's already like the second week almost of November. It's awesome. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. So I am Rabbi Yak. Located outside of San Francisco, MouthPage is an online spiritual community, and we're an online Jewish synagogue. Can you hear the computer? It's going crazy. What are you guys doing about it? Come on now. It's going crazy. Listen to it. It's like going to blow up here in front of me. It's not good. But that's okay. We'll be lighthearted. Let's get this kicking on the road. So I hope everyone's had a great day, great weekend. And let's kick it off. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live weeknight motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please check out our services either on Facebook or on our website at www.mouthpage.com. So for those of you new to our community, our weekend motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. Usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Aha. Give me one second. I found the problem. Hold on, everyone. All right. So there you go. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We will kick it off with the Kol HaNeshama. Let all the breeze praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, happy Monday, Mary. Happy Monday. I almost said happy Halloween. <laughs> Okay, so cool. Uh, Try it again. Cool. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Uh, 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 hallelujah. Uh,
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Kuhana Shamaha Tehela Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let all the breeze praise God, Hallelujah. So, Mouth Page has been going live for 45 weeks. Wow. 45 weeks. And I know everybody's excited to hear this. We just surpassed 33, I almost said 35. Whoa. 33,000 diehard Mouth Pagers liking us and following us on Facebook. That is amazing. We did it. We reached over 33,000. 17,000 more to go to get to 50. So please continue to tell your friends, tell your family. I feel like I'm on a on a telethon, right? Come on, everybody. Get your votes in. Get your Cast your ballots. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to get to 50,000. We're almost there. It's so exciting. All right. So let's kick it off. So last week, we ended with the Halloween week. And guess what? What's this holidays coming up next? Gobble, 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 it's turkey day, right, Thanksgiving, so we're going to do Thanksgiving week, this is another one of my favorite holidays, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, I know, I know, but Thanksgiving, I love food, right, I'm a foodie, I love food, so this is a great holiday for me, I love it, I love it, but However, every year it seems like Thanksgiving goes little, little, little bitty, which just becomes one little bitty hour because Christmas seems to be overshadowing it. Black Friday seems to dominate it. So Thanksgiving gets like a minute. And then that's all you get. I mean, Thanksgiving, okay, everybody, run to the stores. We're bringing it back. This is a very important holiday. The word thanks, right? Thanksgiving. It's not about money. Oh, I'm sure all the retail stores are going to want to wring my neck. It's not. It's not about that stuff. It's about the friendships. It's about the thank yous, right? That's what this is about. Saying thanks to everyone. Being thankful. This is what it's about. I think sometimes we forget that. We forget how important this holiday really is. It's, it's so important. We don't say thanks enough, from, in my opinion. I, I see... So many opportunities we have, right? We need to start stepping back and saying thank you. Here is a word that is starting to be forgotten about. So think about it. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, right? I brought this up early on this year because I was watching a movie and I seen an adult hand a kid a a gift. And the kid looked up, did a little smile, and then walked away. That was it. Whoa, not in my house. No way. When I was a kid growing up, if my mom saw that, that would have been it. No way. That doesn't happen. Because we were taught manners. What, they don't teach manners on the TV? Come on. TV is so impressionable. Everybody watches television. This is important, people. Come on. My mom would have went crazy if I wouldn't have said thank you. It's important to say thank you. It's important to be respectful. Thanksgiving isn't just about eating turkey or stuffing and comparing a recipe and killing yourself in the kitchen. It isn't about that. It's much more than that. Use this time to be thankful. Say thanks. 
like I go to the store you hold the door open for someone and someone looks at you like you're inconveniencing them are you kidding me are you kidding me that's not what this is about you hold the door open thank you it doesn't matter anything else just say thank you someone did something nice and say thankful you say thank you don't look oh what do they get it what do they want what are they trying to do what's their angle there's no angle just holding the door open you're just doing something nice that's it no angle no scam you're just holding the door somebody lets you in traffic you don't have to try to scoot in, try to block them out so the other car does it. Let them in. You're being nice, right? You're being nice. We need to start being thankful. It's super important. In Psalms 107, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever this isn't just words this isn't just something written down oh give thanks to the lord thank you lord see even the bible says thank say thanks to the lord say thank you now if this tells you to say thanks if god tells you to say thanks if the bible tells you to say thanks this is an important word oh give thanks to the lord for his steadfast endures forever that's important someone holds a door open for you say thank you it's not hard it's just polite that's all it is this is the time to spread the love this is the time to spread the joy to do something nice for someone it doesn't cost anything to say thank you it's free I know you can't turn on the TV and look at oh my gosh thank you went up by 12 percent on the on the stock market oh my gosh saying thanks today is gonna cost me ninety two dollars no it's free we need to start taking advantage of the things that matter and that count Psalms 106 praise the Lord oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good I think I just said this again for his steadfast love endures forever so if he gives you this love you're just going to not say thank you to the person who created everything ah so frustrating Psalm 105 oh give thanks to the Lord call upon his name make known his deeds among the people say thank you Lord thank you God it's not that hard I just said it didn't even take me seconds thank you God how hard is that that's what this is about saying thanks so Thanksgiving isn't just about eating turkey isn't about eating stuffing and mashed potatoes yes I love all that stuff but it's much much more than that being thankful for being alive being thankful for not having cancer being thankful for not getting in an accident being thankful for having a job being thankful for being you being thankful for everything that is you wake up in the morning and you can breathe you wake up in the morning and you have sight there are so many people out there who are blind there are so many people out there who are hungry there are so many people out there who are jobless be thankful because if you're thankful then you can help other people that's what this is about that's how important this holiday is Psalm 118 oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever let Israel say his steadfast love endures forever let the house of Aaron say his steadfast love endures forever let those who fear the Lord say his steadfast love endures forever out of distress I call on the Lord the Lord answer me and set me free thanks say thanks say thanks say thanks when people do something nice for you say thank you a non word adjuster wave smile nod your head but acknowledge that someone's doing something nice 
saying thanks. It's so important because you're doing something nice for someone also. Think about it. They do something for you and you say thanks. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel good about themselves. When you say nothing, it makes them feel like, what? What did I do? Didn't even say thanks. You go out to dinner with someone, even though that they say, hey, I want to treat you, I'm going to pay. And you don't say thanks, they're like, man, I can't believe that person didn't even say thanks. We spent over $200 on dinner, and they didn't even say thanks. See? Just say thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you. You give a gift, you get a gift from someone. Whether you like it or not, whether it fits or not, they still did something nice for you. You could still be thankful for their thought. I didn't say to lie. I did not say to lie. You could be thankful for their thought because that gift could be used for someone else. You could definitely give that to someone else if you have to. It could hurt their feelings, other person's feelings. So remember that. But be thankful. Be thankful and be honest. But be thankful because you might say, wait a minute, well, that's a contradictory, right? You said that. I heard you. But that's not true because when someone does something nice for you, you say thankful. You say thank you because you're being thoughtful. But you could say, hey, this doesn't fit me, but this is so nice. I appreciate it so much. Be thankful because they might not have much money. And they were trying to do something nice. Maybe you gained a ton of weight and they thought you were a large and now you're a triple XL. So they didn't know. <laughs> but be thankful. I'm being sarcastic on that because it's important that it might not be what you like, but it might be all they can afford. It's the thought, right? It's the thought behind it. Be thankful. Be thankful. The word of the day, thanks. Say thanks, right? Thanks. T, thank God every day. H, honor others with thanks. A, always be polite first. N, never let anyone take kindness from you. K, kindness goes a lot further than yelling. Hmm. S, saying thanks will brighten another person's day. So say thanks. So before we end tonight's Motivation, I like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. So, healing prayers to my father-in-law, who's doing so much better, who is in rehab, but let's continue to pray. Let's continue. So, thank you so much, everyone. I'd like to pray for Vicky, for Ceci, for Kenny, for Janet's family, for Clayton's family, for Chuck's family, Terry, Laura's mother, Liza's mo father, Jeremiah, Jason, Joshua, Sam's daughter, Raul, Robert, Roger, Stephanie, Sam, Ralph's mother, Sandy's son, John, Melissa, Kim, Paul, Nathan, Natalia, Eric, Marvin, Mikey, Mike, Sharon, and Felicia's family and pray for all the victims in Texas who was affected yesterday by that horrible tragedy. Let's pray for them and their healing for their families. And happy birthday to Joe and Richard. Yom Haletz Samach. How good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity. Dwell together in unity means saying thanks, people. So I want to thank you all. See? Thank you. I want to thank you all for watching tonight. So please check us out every Monday through Thursday. Live on Facebook and our website at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Every Friday is our Shabbat service at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check out our Facebook page. Check out our website, www.malfish.com, and check out our YouTube channel, Malfish Spiritual Community. I love you all. Don't forget 
that we have so much to offer on our website, so many services. Check out our donations, right? Donate if you want. I really appreciate it. We really do. Mouthpage is a nonprofit organization on 501c3. I want to wish all of you a wonderful week. A wonderful week. Help others to be nice and to help others to say thanks. God bless. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow.